Hi, welcome. This is the energy of today, August 9th. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, what is the energy for today? What is the viewer you need to see in here? Okay, so um, share. And this is about, you know, whatever gifts you have. When you're humble and you share with others, you experience a sense of growth. Okay. Um, and then definitely, yes. So there's something you're asking yourself, maybe questioning you know, maybe having doubts, do I do it, do I not do it, or something like that. Whatever you're asking, the answer is yes. Um, and then creative, so really going outside of the norm, maybe, uh, you know, relaxing by the water, um, drawing, painting, maybe writing, whatever it is, being creative, using your creative self um, side, excuse me. And then you'll know in the morning, so this is about, you know, having um, internal guidance, uh, relaxing when you sit down and relax, you're able to answer questions for yourself or get some sort of guidance. Um, so if you're asking things to your spirit guides, it's very much a sense of getting some kind of um, knowledge coming in for you. So and then curiosity came out as well, which is definitely a sense of maybe you're curious about something. Maybe you're learning about something. And then um, the hello and goodbye is at the bottom, which is about um, making changes from bad to good. So maybe you're saying goodbye to difficult situations, which would be absolutely awesome if you are. Okay. So welcome, guys. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're safe. I hope you're doing, um, you know, staying stable in your mind and not going crazy in these, these hard times that we're having. Um, so I do. I, I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see here. I would like to know, Spirit, what is the share? Maybe you have a gift to share and you don't even know it. And what I mean by that is, like, um, maybe it, it's something to do with, you know, sharing your mindset um your ideas or maybe something creative about yourself that you don't even know so let's see what is this and the card says when you share everyone feels happy so um the king of pentacles and the lovers so this is choosing uh something that makes you feel happy harmonious if you're stuck in a place where you know it's all about the money and there's no fun that could be a downside um if maybe you're just stuck pleasing other people it's almost as if you're not getting any kind of re reward for you so is this the king of pentacles making a choice to go into love um in a sense really sharing emotions sharing vulnerability sharing um love and and something like that because those are beautiful cards it's almost as if um is this person willing to share are you willing to share yourself with somebody the lovers is very much this i definitely do feel oh my goodness is it is it about somebody you love or maybe making a choice to be happier okay let's see what those are for you uh let's see here that's my favorite lovers card really um i want to know what is the king of pentacles maybe becoming more grounded to be able to share you have the nine of swords nine of swords energy worried why is there a worry or a sadness or anxiousness? The Knight of Wands, um, the Six of Wands. Look at all these wands. And then the Queen of Wands. So is this somebody who you feel is out of your league? Is this a situation that you think is, is too grand for you? Um, I definitely do feel there's worry about n nothing, really. I mean... You have two people here and the only thing that I could think of is that maybe you're opposite or you're totally different but yet there's an attraction but there's worry to it because you got the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Wands is very much that masculine energy of, you know, having that kind of passion and wanting to be, you know, um, I don't want to say player kind of energy but that kind of passionate kind of chemistry that you would have towards someone. And then you have the Six of Wands, which is very much victory and success and being recognized and just really coming out of something dark, you know, like having success. So do you question you having success with whatever this is? I mean, it's very much with the share card. It's very much maybe you need to open up to somebody. Maybe you need to open up to a situation. Maybe you've been thinking one way and now this is spirit pretty much telling you open up. 
and maybe see things different. I'm burning down my table here, guys, sorry. Um, so maybe you have to look at something quite different in a different way, um, which will allow you to be somewhat more expressive to someone. Is that what that is? It's almost like with the Nine of Swords, there's worry or anxiousness, or is this because you're apart from this person? Um, what is the Nine of Swords? Give me one more for the Nine of Swords, please. Okay, so let's see. Um, the Tower, the Four of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. So it's almost like maybe you're having regret for not moving, or maybe you're frozen in this kind of uh, it's this kind of energy where you have a sense that you should move towards something, but you're not doing it. You're holding yourself back. Um, is it because the, of the fear of the unknown, the fear of whether or not this can happen? I mean, you got the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. So this could be a person who, as far as the King of Pentacles, it could be someone who's very much in tune to materialistic stuff, to to money, to, you know, maybe thinking different than the Queen of Wands, where a Queen of Wands would be a person who I would think is more natural, more down to earth more spiritual more forgiving you know not so um hard on themselves so this is this is definitely what i feel it's an opposite it's an opposite like kind of attraction but there's definitely a sense of of um some kind of love here because of the lovers okay and you've got the six of wands so is this somebody not budging and not making a movement towards one another and sharing sharing um what is the tower what's the tower please what's the tower so you have the queen of swords really thinking about it really needing to open up i'm um, really needing to take some sort of action it also could be like maybe do you need to end it with somebody else in order to come in together with the person that you love um because that's another person. We got three people here. So what is give me one more for the Queen of Swords? Is this an ending with the Queen of Swords? The Page of Swords. So finding out something. Um, you really lose using the logic. Maybe it's time to use logic versus being stuck in um, something where you're thinking over emotionally. Do you know what I mean? Maybe this person isn't moving towards you because they're too full of emotion if that makes sense okay so in a sense there needs to be something opened up as far as clarity some kind of um maybe some kind of truth or something to come in maybe they're learning how to be more clear maybe learning how to be more uh, sharing with oneself if that if that makes sense um because I, I definitely do feel like this is a couple i i definitely do feel that the queen queen of wands and the king of pentacles are these lovers but very much very different you see um so maybe there's a choice that needs to be made maybe the choice is that you got to leave somebody and it, it's very hard to leave okay there's a lot of worry um and see there's that six of swords so uh, i feel like they may need to leave somebody who um, you know, maybe they're just not going with them anymore. Maybe it's time to call it quits and they've been holding on to it. And it, it's still some, somewhat lingering. Um, so let's see what the next card is. So what is the definite yes? It says the definite yes. The answer to what question? The question is a strong yes. The answer to your question is a strong yes. Sorry about that. What does that mean? Definitely yes. So maybe this is telling this person, yes, this is your person. This is your person. Go to that person. Share your emotion. Open up. Um, maybe they found their unicorn. Definitely. I just saw that that is a unicorn uh, in a sense where, you know, it's somebody that it's the perfect person for you. But why would you turn away from that perfect person that is is your is your match? Okay. So what is the definite yes? What is the definite yes? It's like you don't let go of unicorns, you know, because they're very unique. They're very rare. Okay, look at that five of pentacles. So you're keeping yourself at a loss. Um, maybe you're tired of being away from this person. There's a sense of with the five of pentacles, you feel at a loss. You feel somewhat um, consumed by the thought of them. Uh, something like that. But yet 
when it's reversed, it's like, are you ready to get out of that loss? Are you ready to get out of that separation or that missing point or um, that that victim mentality kind of phase? Um, you know, where you think that everything happens to you for a reason, um, for no good reason, like, okay, let's see, what is the five of pentacles in reverse? Um, five of pentacles, so this is where you want to move forward with the two of wands, the sun, and the two of swords. It, it, it's, it's, it's like you want to so bad, but are you fighting your ego? Are you fighting yourself? to make this choice because these are positive cards the two of wands and the sun but then there comes that two of swords it's like you want it because it's good for you it's a good match but what the heck is holding you back what is that two of swords like thinking like it's not real it's almost like you feel like it's not real so you don't go towards it yeah i feel like there's two people here they're very opposite in their nature but holy crap, they still sort of men, just like that yin and yang, you know, it's like an opposite sign. But it's like you definitely mesh together. OK, two of swords. What is the two of swords here? So that keeps you in that place of, oh, I'm not good enough with the five of pentacles. You know, I'm not good enough. I don't deserve this. But are you changing that? Are you healing that? Because it's in reverse. What is the two of swords, please? OK, so the queen of cups very shy you're you're very shy like it is in a point where um if something has happened here with you and somebody else the shyness that i feel is that you're you're masking your feelings you're because the queen of cups is in, in reverse you're masking you're trying the operative word is you're trying you're trying to not think about this person you're trying to somehow keep yourself from making this choice even though you see it this is a delay because you see that there is potential in this thing that you have to choose okay but yet you try not to think about it you try not to make a decision about it you just almost like you know if i don't pay attention to it it'll go away but i feel you've been doing that but it's not going away it's definitely not going away um and I definitely do feel like that is a yes. Like, yes, this is your person. So why do you doubt yourself? Why do you put yourself? Um, why do you like somehow shut yourself away from this? Um, very interesting. At the bottom of the deck is the King of Wands, which means you need to take some kind of action towards this and the King of Cups. So definitely a sense where you need to start feeling your emotion and, and going with those emotions. Because there's definitely something here with the Two of Wands where maybe you look at yourself in the future with this person but maybe you just don't know how do you get to that point you can see yourself together with them in the future but in the now you don't know how to break free from whatever it is that you need to break free from to start over again because we did see the six of cups we see the nine of nine of um i'm sorry the six of swords we saw that as far as going away from something the nine of swords the tower um is this something that you need to move away from give me one more on the five of pentacles in reverse they sort of just sort of jumped out hold on here okay so five of pentacles in reverse five of pentacles give me one more what is this feeling yeah and how funny it did, it did come out the judgment so you gotta let go of something you gotta maybe it's that regret that you did something wrong or maybe the regret that um you feel like you've done something to somebody so you've done something to somebody and it, it's so wrong and maybe dishonest but it's almost as if you've got to come clean and either apologize or speak your mind or not worry so much that maybe they'll walk away from you i think that that's what the fear is if you choose this person and you communicate with this person it, it's the fear of them walking away or maybe not accepting you or not taking your apology or you know not not letting you have the new beginning so whoever this is they they're twisted i feel like they're twisted in their stomach like as far as anxiousness and not being able to move in a better direction but the sun definitely says yes everything everything that you're in visualizing about this person or the situation 
the feelings that you have are true that it's a yes um and and you can have so much success with this person or the situation whatever it is that you're trying to choose um maybe it's just a whole new path for yourself you know and it keeps you in a sense of not moving because you're not you're not going through the motions you're not you might be feeling a lot of stuff but not expressing it not sharing what it is that you need to share with with either somebody or within a situation okay um judgment is very much that card of surrendering guys letting it go um and then you get that new beginning you get that new slate that new canvas that is just wiped clean and you could start over it's about second chances so are you in your head about giving somebody a second chance what is creative what is creative and that means going deep in your mind meditating um just really following your intuition to guide you into the direction that you want to go to um it, it's very much stepping out of the box as far as um as far as like not being able to do something different meaning something unusual than you've ever done before um that's what it feels like it's just something where you just have to go out of that box and do something completely different out of your nature there you go it's like something out of your nature so you got the the magician and you have the fool this is a new beginning this is definitely very different for you um this could be with the magician where you know maybe you need to really focus on yourself as far as your stability um the way you feel about yourself take it easy on yourself don't don't be so angry at yourself or full of regrets and this with the magician right now it's taking me to this place where it, it's almost as if you're down on yourself and maybe you do feel like you're too good you're not good enough for a certain situation or a certain person and that's just a myth it's just something that you tell yourself so the, with the magician this is you learning to balance yourself learning new things um maybe spirituality maybe a sense of you know how how nature works really closely to humans um you know if you sit down and you, you're quiet enough you can hear these things you have this kind of inner knowledge we have this wisdom that's inside of us and it's just been sort of locked up for so long that it's starting to come out now and you somehow see yourself totally different um maybe this is what you're scared of of being different um of not being accepted for the new you okay but, but it definitely is something that if you make this new beginning with the fool and the magician it's about beginnings um it's very much where you don't really care what other people think anymore is this the point that you're getting to is this you or your person that's getting to that point with the tower the four of swords and the knight of swords it's something that you know you need to put to rest so that you can take action with so is this happening very quickly which will end the delay as far as you moving forward um i definitely do feel like that is what's happening for you i want to know let's see here and the fool is very much going in going in with that in your reservations just you know what i'm gonna do it just sort of jump in and just start over whatever it is the fool please what is the fool the fool what is the fool what is the fool please so building a stronger foundation if you move away from this you'll build that strong foundation to where you become whole to where you feel like your mind your heart your body is in the right place okay and that is stability and that's what this king of pentacles is trying to do is become stable maybe this person needs to become stable before they make that choice to go to you and start sharing things with you okay um magician what is the magician what is the magician the magician please what does the magician mean okay so you have the five of five of wands the king of swords the ten of pentacles and the page and the nine of pentacles so are you asking yourself if you leave a certain situation is that going to be all all like um it, it's almost like i see like devastation is uh, 
whoever you're trying to leave or whatever situation you're trying to leave whoever this king of swords is it's very much looking into maybe um devastation that they'll cause if they have to leave something or break something up or it's something dealing with a family it's something dealing with maybe a marriage um it could be your competition that you know they're they're somehow hesitant to leave to come towards you i definitely do feel with king of swords there's a sense of really looking towards the future and putting this behind them um so maybe this is a change for your person um, I definitely do feel this King of Swords is this King of Pentacles, but having a sense of um, a knowledge or something happened, something something that they've learned along the way that somehow has given them some kind of clarity. With the, pa the Knight of Swords, I'm sorry, the King of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles, This the, the, the reason they don't go is they have conflict because they don't know if it's going to be successful. I really do feel that this person looks at you as very successful, very passionate, very loving, very nurturing, and they want that new beginning. You know, they I feel like they make you you make them feel giddy or you make them feel giddy. They make you feel giddy or you make them feel giddy, something like that. But it, it's a reservation that they have because will it be successful if I do it? And that's what holds them back. And I feel like that is ego. That's definitely ego. Um, so that could be a very hard place to get somebody to move if their ego is sort of in the way, you know. Um, and it definitely could be another person as well. Let's see. I want to know, you know, you'll know in the morning. What does that mean? Sometimes where you have issues and things that are just overweighing you, it's really good to take a nap or meditate or just go to sleep and they'll see you in the morning and that's what it says it's like you'll know in the morning so the card is saying um when you wake up you'll have a better idea about what to do relax until then so is this what your person is trying to do they're trying to get that guidance to know what to do because they're up and down you got the two of swords the five of wands five of pentacles the tower uh, even the four of swords and the knight of swords were do, I don't know what to do. I mean, it's right there in front of my face, but I don't know what to do with it. What it, What is you'll know in the morning? What is it? They're just so scared that it's not going to be successful. Um, whatever this is, it, there's a fear of it not being successful. Um, you'll know in the morning. What does that mean? What, what does that mean? Um... You'll be stronger. Let's see. So Queen of Pentacles, um, being somewhat more grounded, you'll be able to um, see things clearly. Okay. What else, please? You'll know in the morning. It's the Seven of Wands. I guess I did see it and I'm like, okay. Oh, the Eight of Wands. Okay, so there's some sort of, um, some kind of, grounding kind of energy that's going to make you take some sort of action or open up or communicate with um with somebody um the queen of pentacles and the eight of wands it's very much where there's something almost like you're sure of it's like you're not sure of it but then all of a sudden an epiphany happens and you're like okay i'm pretty sure of it and there we have the page of wands so that new beginning Something starting again. Eight of Wands, please. Eight of Wands. With it's like they're trying to tell you to move, definitely, from from something, so that you can have the new. And the new is way more passionate. I feel it's way more passionate than where where you're at, as far as having a sense of li life and rhythm and joy and a sense of healing as well. So what came out is the death card, the devil, and the empress, definitely. Um, you know, there's some sort of transformation. There needs to let there needs to be a sense of a surrender from the devil energy as far as maybe you're hooked to something um toxic. Um it could be a person, it could be a thing, it could be a drug, it could be alcohol. Um, there's something toxic here, but 
the the death card is a rebirth it's letting go of that and that's what the judgment is as, as well like you know letting go of something so that you can start over and have a second chance so is this having a second chance with your empress um with your person your queen of wands you know that's definitely what i feel this reading is about the king of pentacles and the queen of wands but going through these levels of um changes and that need to really be shared and exchange with one another um so i definitely do feel the death and the devil that's a death that's a transformation perhaps to get you to where you want to go i it definitely do feel whoever this is um it's a very strong indication to follow the intuition and perhaps maybe maybe they're not doing that for themselves you know which sort of makes you want to just sort of choke them you reach over there and choke them you know um death the death card what's the death card i want to know what's the death card please so um ace ace of pentacles a new beginning definitely and what's the devil what's the devil here okay so king of cups more self-love more um and like um more self-assurance and not thinking that you're going to fail don't think you're going to fail go with this you have success you have a new beginning speak from the heart share um there's definitely a sense of maybe being aware more to your feeling and your intuitions and it's going to lead you to making that better choice for yourself with the lovers there um and then you got the wheel at the bottom so it's something new and it's very balanced very reciprocal very aligned okay um you know you do something for me i'll do something for you but it's balanced it's not there's no string attached okay um i want to know how how does the story end please how does the story end so the seven of wands definitely standing up perhaps people who have been against you um because i do feel with the five of wands there there could be people around you that don't want you to do this but it's almost where you have to stand up and take charge of you and and they, in order for you to so somehow move from something toxic okay with the death card and the devil um let's see so and the king of swords so this king of swords really needs to take action they really need to really use force as far as their their the inside of them um you know speaking up that's the kind of force i feel it's like speaking up and taking control of the situation maybe you or your person has been in control of other people you know doing living and doing things for others so you have the world definitely a new cycle the emperor and the queen of wands this is your person this is definitely your person that you need to go to whoever is loving to you there's that lover's card at the bottom and um the king of swords so this is speaking your truth about this maybe this is something you've, you've been holding on to and like i said you keep thinking it's going to go away but it's really not it's not going anywhere um it's still there it's imprinted yeah definitely um i want to know what's the karmic message what's the karmic love message there's a deeper reason for each of your questions seek it so this person is questioning themselves and the answer is yes but they keep questioning themselves because they don't trust their intuition they don't trust the feeling maybe the feeling that they feel is just so vulnerable and there's so much love tied to this connection yet you're so different it's sort of scary you know it's sort of scary honor thyself and that's what this person needs to do is honor themselves they're um, time to make a demonstration, definitely. No more, no more sitting around. It's time to move. Um, what you give will come back. So definitely needing to give love and, and sharing and forgiveness. So maybe this is forgiveness for oneself. I feel it's somebody who has put either you through the ringer or you've put somebody through the ringer. And the worry of coming back is because of all the bad things you either said you lied about or you did or something like that okay so you in, in other words this person needs to be the bigger person and just step up and perhaps say the words of i'm sorry you know um what is the words of love for today words of love okay so let's see loyalty 
your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and constant consistency of being definitely i think you're being guided towards towards um, loyalty release you have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe and that's definitely what they're trying to guide you towards um some kind of loving energy maybe loving energy for yourself uh, to help you to see better and will help you to move in a better direction uh, i want to know what is the spirit message okay it came out fast okay it says right here uh support people come into your life for many different reasons some you learn from and then they move away while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals others remain beside you through your entire life so see others while others return i feel this is a return of someone else that still hasn't made the full spiritual transformation and this is a twin this is a twin that needs to come back um, for somebody you see with the death card um definitely returning so and that's the person that's going to help you grow even though you're so different from this person and there's so much fear to come to this person you love them you definitely love them but you're so different what is the path that they will take what's their new path please what's their new path the ego man it'll just stop you from doing stuff um and that's what i feel that this is it's someone's ego not allowing them to see um clearly and really anxious about if things will work out it's sometimes you just don't know what's going to happen you still have to go through the motions you know uh, so you have this one right here. Anthony's call. In thanks of my spirit, safe and sound. All things that are lost, so can be found. See, something's coming back. Something was lost. And there is a sense of coming back. And then 1111. The numbers and double synchronicities in two. Don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you. So this is time i feel like this one wanted to come out too because it sort of was sticking out it says it says draw down the moon the forest mists dance in sheer delight singing soft songs find us in the wild good night so definitely i do feel like somebody needs to make a choice to go towards something that they love or a person i feel it's a person that needs to come to you or you go to a person you love so there you go guys i do hope you like this reading thank you so much for your time i do value you watching me and um stay safe and blessed i'll see you guys tomorrow have a beautiful day